Now, I just want y'all to know, like, I just found out that my grandpa had one of the biggest Briar model collections, like, as a kid, and he ended up giving it away to the neighbor's kid. These 1960 Briar models. Can y'all say fumbled the bag? The horses may be cheap, but they go hard. Start spreading some hate, get dragged in the yard. Having fun with life, trying to stay legit. You can check my credentials, I'm a Western misfit. I'm a pony pal, I'm an, I'm an advocate. Doing yeehaw stuff on a budget. On it ain't elaborate, but it's flavor. With Desmond Washington, you're educator. <sighs> How you pony pals doing? My name is Desmond Washington and welcome back to Hafrican Empire. And you can already kind of tell that what we're going to do today by like the title, but I just wanted to give a quick rundown on why I had such a great idea about this. So when you first walk into the tack room, we have our old little wooden toy barn and it has like all our briar models in it. And I was like, you know what? I should do a video about our briar collection. But I didn't want to just do that because our collection is crusty. But the reason why these horses are so crusty is because my grandpa let us play with them as kids. So you have nine grandkids. So I would say the oldest would probably be 18 at the time while the youngest is probably like two years old or something. You have that big of a span of these grandkids playing with these classic traditional briar horses from the 1960s. We broke so many. Like I was look I was like pulling them out and I was like, "Dude, we had way more horses." But it, the thing was is that we were breaking them cuz we were just these reckless kids who didn't understand like how dope briar models are and how worthy they are of just being models and not playthings. So I'm gonna show my appreciation today by identifying these models and that's thanks to identifyyourbriar.com. Identify Your Briar has like this pretty extensive like grasp on where your model is from, what time period, what the name is, it's all cool. And it's like into little categories. And it was really easy to find these guys because like I knew they weren't mini winnies or some type of special edition. They were traditional or classic series. Before we get started, I want y'all like, you know, if you notice like a red or a blue mark on their pole, that was us as kids trying to identify who were the female horses and the males, despite most of these models being vividly stallions. <laughs> but I mean, that's what we did as a kid. I tried to wash them as best I could like years ago. Years ago, I tried to wash it off as best I could, but that crayon is stubborn. And speaking of stubborn, segue, our first model is, eh. Very stubborn. So according to Identify Your Briar, this is called Bulking Mule. And this is model 208, which is kind of cool. When I was kind of going through these, I realized like, you know, these models have different colors. I didn't think that like at all. Like I just thought they were their own thing every time. But you know, mass production is fun. So this guy's called Bulking Mule. He's model number 208. Um, I'm not gonna really go more into it except for it says like it's a seal brown horse or mule. Usually has, um, it has its own blinkers and like bridle set, which you can see. And you can also see that he's missing an ear. So that's kind of cool. And Monsieur Balking Mule, you were released around 1968 and 1970. Now this wasn't a model that I had growing up. This one kind of came pretty late. So let's say like my high school years. It was, I think he got it from a friend. So this wasn't like one of those childhood horses. He wasn't the one that has like a marking on his head. So, you know, he was spared from that. And now he's here in a calm, loving environment. We put him over there so you can see what's going on. No, that's distracting. We're going to put him back. So next we have Proud Arabian Stallion. And the thing is, is that we have two of these so we can talk about them. So this is model 212 and according to Briar, um, even though it's under the Proud Arabian Stallion mold, it's also named um, Wittes the Second. I believe that's what I said, right? It is supposed to be a very mahogany bay color, which it is. I don't know if like the camera can really show, you know, 
It's a really dark kind of bay horse. He's a little faded because, you know, he's old. And then you also have Proud Arabian Stallion, model number, geez, I'm doing it like makeup, model number 213, because his head is so bright. Um, a dapple gray Arabian Stallion. And so both of these guys, it looks like, so this um, 212 model was released around 1972 to 1973 and was part of the presentation collection. And then you have 213, which was released 1972 to 1988. And apparently there's a couple variations of this one, like this dapple gray in terms of like shades, because it's that's what it says in the notes. So I'm just reading you exactly what I got. But yes, proud Arabian stallions, here we are. And if I don't know if the camera can show you guys, but this one was marked blue, this one was marked red. So yes, my two stallions. All right. <laughs> so up next, we also have a pair of Clydesdale stallions who are also marked blue and red. And this is the models. There's like a no muscle model, and these are definitely the muscle models. Here you guys go. Look how broken your little stuff is on your head. So these guys are model number 80. So they're like a semi-gloss bay. Um, there's no black on their legs, and you know they got ribbons and stuff like that. And it says it shows two shades. I don't know exactly what that means. If anything, it's probably talking about like how the definition of color is showing like through the muscles. Like obviously the muscles are in the mold, but I think they did a really good job shading it so it looks like it's in two different um, brown colors. And these guys were released around 1963 to 1971. Look at you old boys. I didn't even think about like these horses are older than me by like a landslide. And I was straight up playing with them and throwing them around and stuff. I never threw these. I had at least some respect. So yeah, so we're just gonna move on. I'm gonna go put these guys away so we can get to our next one. So this one is actually a personal favorite of mine. This is the Fighting Stallion. And I'm actually really happy that I was a, like I looked this one up because I found out that this model mold is actually supposed to be Cloud. And if you guys know who Cloud is, that's the um, Wild Stallion that had the documentary series on PBS. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, we had Cloud. We don't have famous. We never had famous horses in our um, Briar collections. Like I knew that, but like we have Cloud, and I marked Cloud as a woman. We played with this horse as a woman. This is Cloud. Like, put some respect on his name. Oh my gosh. Like, that was probably the dopest thing that I found. Like, I mean, I looked up to make sure that I could find all of the models and whatever, but I didn't look into it. And just now, as I pulled it up, I saw, um, I was looking for the color scheme and stuff, and it literally said right next to the model, Cloud, Stallion. The, the cloud, like the cloud of the Rockies. That is like the dopest thing I have found and I'm really glad that I looked it up. So, in my notes, this is Fighting Stallion, model number 1149. This is Cloud, Wild Stallion of the Rockies. He is a Cremello. And he was released around 2001 and 2005. And apparently he was part of a Cloud Mustang series, well, I was reading it like as a collection, like a, like a box collection, but this is Cloud, the Cloud. We own the Cloud and I need to take care of him now. You're going to live a much better life now that you're famous, so forget all these other horses. We're just gonna go about our life. So next on our list, we have Jumping Horse. And it was cool to kind of look this one up because there was like a mystery as to why there was a hole under his belly. And it turns out that there was actually a wall that like this model was supposed to sit on top of. So he was supposed to sit like this the whole time. I thought he was racing, but you know, when we had, when we were playing with these horse models in the pool, we always had to make sure we watched out where this one was cause he had the hole. So he was gonna sink the fastest. But this is jumping horse. This is model number 300. And I'm gonna wait for my grandpa to come in so I can talk to him about it. Come here. You know this horse had a wall 
It was supposed to sit on? That's why it has a hole? Yeah, it had a deal to sit on it. Yeah. Come on through. I'm looking at these. Let's see. So this one's supposed to be a bay horse. We can totally see that. And then it was released in 1965 and 1988. Ain't that crazy? There was a little stand that sit on it and sit there like. Yeah. Kind of like that. I was just like, we were all trying to figure out why it had a hole on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like we couldn't figure it out. So the next horse model that we're going to introduce is Scamper and this was kind of like in a barrel racing set and I know that because we have the girl and the barrels. I just didn't want to bring them out because they look crusty. But this is the Scamper model. Very fancy. I marked it as a girl so it doesn't matter. It matters. Um, <laughs> so Scamper, this is model um, 613 because this is a dun horse. You can't really see the stripe because we, you know, put it in the pool too much. But, and you also can't see on the camera, look at this. Look at this fadiness. But, so this is model 6013. Um, this was the barrel racing set. It's a dun horse. And it makes sense, this one was definitely 2001, 2005, because I remember like pulling this out of the box. And I was in kindergarten around 2004, so it makes sense. Now this one was a little hard to kind of figure out because it was under a different name. Um, this is supposed to be the Mistenio uh, mold, but this is actually Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. And I totally know that because one, I remember getting the box, we had the family set, and um, there's the Spirit logo right underneath his belly. Can y'all see that reflection? Yeah. And it was kind of hard because like um, on the, identify your briar model thing, anything that was spirit, it was like the more cartoony looking uh, model, like with rain and everything. But the family set is all um, under the Mustenio mold, so like the Mustenio foal and Mustenio mare. So this Mustenio model is 751103, and it says it's part of the spirit Keeger Mustang family, so it had the Mustenio mother and Mustenio foal, which was um, rain and supposedly like their baby. And let's see, it's a buckskin, definitely was released in 2002 and it was part of the Walmart Spirit Collection. And this is worth a pretty penny because it is the bombest of collector's items, so you know. But I was really happy I was actually trying to figure it out because every time I looked up Spirit, like stallion models, because I wanted to buy it, I didn't realize like how collectory it was. Um, it always popped up with that more cartoon version of Spirit and Rain and I was like, I don't want that one. I want the one that I had as a kid. This was dope. This is sophisticated. I will take this one. Unfortunately, I couldn't find all of the Briar models. This happened to be the only one that I couldn't find on the site. And I think it's just because like it just not enough people came forward with which this one was or anything. So maybe I want to get if I get enough of y'all like to you know, take a crack at it. Um, as far as I know, this is a gelding. It has blinkers and a little harness set on it, but it's like definitely built on. It is dapple gray and it's very glossy. So I mean, you know, I just wanted y'all to like appreciate him. He's definitely a Briar model. You can totally tell like the craftsmanship between Briar models and other horse models. You can totally tell. But I'm sorry we couldn't identify you, buddy, but you seem like a classic to me. So, you know, we appreciate you. And we're gonna keep you up here as we close this out. So I wanna thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, you know, trying to figure out what these old Briar models, where they came from and what they were doing and how we will no longer abuse them now that we know how beautiful and craftsmanshipy they are. I love words. But I hope to catch you guys' view on a different video on a different day. And bye. Another day in Stanislaus. I can smell the, the rednecks on crack. The rednecks and not you. Know somebody's watching. What's good, bro? Because I look mostly black. I'll be hiding behind my mom because she got that See privilege. The fire's burning. Yeah, 99. The smog's in the sky. <laughs> Someone coming out the cut. This backwards. I might get in a fight. I don't follow rules of fight. But man. I get by. By telling these people that my life matter too. I'm going to go for a ride. Probably like you going three miles an hour. I'm gonna need you to speed it up, bro. I get by. You gonna fight me because I said my life matters just as much as yours? I get. 
I'ma go for a ride, cause it's just another day in Stanislaus. Oh my gosh, this place sucks!